Hey guys, so we had Sabrina back over to her home studio for her reveal. This is actually the first time she's going to see her photos, um, take a peek at her reactions, followed by her impressions about her boudoir experience. Oh, oh my god! Oh wow. Oh. oh, that is, I really like that shot. Oh wow. That's, a re that's really cool. That's crazy. Change the outfit. I <laughs> like it. Feel. I love that. Because that's when I was just like, all right, pop your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember the pop. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay, that is really cool because you were wanting to do the pearls one and yeah. stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I love that one. So yes, that one was the balance the legs. Uh -huh. <laughs> balance the legs. It's like hold it, hold but it, hold it. It turns out beautifully. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I love, I love that one. Oh wow. It's like you're just so relaxed there. Oh, that's a really yeah. Tushy, tushy Thursday. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I love, I love this whole series. Oh, yes. I did, I did all in black and white. I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad we did that. Oh my goodness, yes. I really love the, um, I like the, I love the one with the, the rolls and the enough. And then the zoom in of like the heels. Yeah. Like the the red heels. I think so. Yeah, like, like that one. Shoe. There was that one shot where you could see like the tattoo and stuff. And then I love the first one in the skirt. I just think that is so... Kind of like on the, just, on the table. Yeah, it's just so, so, so neat. But the one in the, de in the denim jeans was pretty good too. And I think what I really like about that is because you still see the rolls yeah. and you see the tummy and stuff and it was just like it's I mean they're, but they it's like real but it looks and that tells a lot of your mm -hmm. you know your life like you know it's like I have this has made three babies yeah. and this is how you know and that's but you it's know, still, all of that it's still look hot <laughs> okay I don't see hot but thank you I see hot I see hot <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you very much you have a nice butt I have struggled with weight issues and self-image issues my whole entire life. Like always, have, I've always been taller than I want, more awkward, hairy. I finally got to the place a couple of years ago where it was just like, you know what? I just need to love me like right where I am. From that place, I have really tried to encourage others, especially other women. Several years ago, I thought that it would be really cool to do a boudoir body positive type shoot just so that you could see yourself differently than you've ever seen yourself. The, the beauty is there, but we sometimes just don't see it. When you see it up on a screen like that, you're just like, oh wow, that's what that looks like? And so I was so excited because I thought this is just the, the coolest thing ever to get to, to do this and then to get to share it because I know it'll be something sharing the experience of it all, like having your hair done and getting to get your makeup done and getting all that. And it just feels like a lot of moms, a lot of, you know, women, whether you're a mom or not, we just sometimes don't take the time for ourselves to do that. From the experience of just coming in and just the doting and the kindness and it feels very genuine. My body's not the place where I want it to be. Like I, I don't want to be super skinny. But, you know, I know I need to tone and shave and stuff, but it's also one of those things It's like, but my body has done a lot and been through a lot and I need to celebrate that and celebrate where I am and who I am. I don't have much of anything by way of like lingerie stuff. And so I went to Torrid because they have just really cool, funky, nice looking stuff for thicker girls. So the excitement was just being able to find a piece that like was cut for your body shape and, and also finding it on sale was really cool. But getting it ready and I had it like, it was before the night before, like I had stuff ready and then a friend of mine let me borrow the corset and just getting all of that together was just, it was very, very exciting. Coming here, I was more like nervous than anything. Like, okay, 
this is really going to happen. This From the time that I walked in and just meeting both of you guys was just like, it felt very um, genuine. I think Melina did a fantastic job. Fantastic job putting it. As a matter of fact, when she was per first putting stuff on, I was like, is she putting paste on my eyes? <laughs> like, what? this is so crazy. Which I will say, that makeup lasted like the whole next day because I did not wipe my face off. I'm like, this is like perfect makeup. But I think I was nervous through the first few shots of it. Probably about 15, 20 minutes into the shoot and just you just like cutting up. And the thing that I love the most about the third time you did this was when I was like, okay, this chick is just awesome. Like when you would just take a picture and like giggle and kind of like shake and stuff. I was like, she's like real. That's like real excitement. You know, like she really does like this. That really helped me to calm down because you would do this like, oh my God, oh my God, this is so great. This is so awesome. And I was like, oh, it's overwhelmingly amazing. Like I see it and I'm like, oh wow, that's me. Like that's you know, I breastfed three kids that hanged my navel. It just, and then seeing it up there and I was thinking, oh my God, this is going to be just so mortifying. And I'm like, oh wow, that's, that's not bad at all. You know, that's really cool. So I was in a marriage that was very emotionless. Like it was not very, um, he was not affectionate. He was not doting or touch or anything so it, it makes you start to doubt everything about yourself like doing something from a place of hate your your brain physically can't motivate itself your brain can only be motivated from a from a positive place so coming in here and seeing up on a screen we're like oh wow my ass doesn't really look that bad sometimes as women we struggle with being able to say well that looks really good and so doing something like this is, it really is very empowering. I, I am worth spending the time on. I am worth spending the money on. I am worth having someone look at me and say, you are worth being celebrated.